Eh, let's just go for some Cradle next. This is a good... Uh, a fun deck. What did I, did I have any thoughts on this one that I wanted to try out before lining it up? The power base felt fine. Feeding time is probably not necessary. Down pull. Okay, actually, I know what it was. I know what it was. I want to. Uh, seconds. Three, second sight. Um, so, cut this. Let's go trim these a little bit. What am I at? I, I want to get two feast colors into the deck. Because the there's kind of just this like a decent number of these uh, ways to generate extra spells between show and the the hurlers, so um, I want to get that into the deck. Hailstorm seems good right now. Actually, let's cut the feeding times, and then hurler. Uh, I think I want one more cut. Ringer Troy seems really good too. Zen and Reanimator. Yeah, I can do that next. I want to try this one at least for a couple games. I could just like totally get tilted off and then switch to something else. Um, I'm actually, yeah, no, never mind about that. I'm just thinking about something and then change my mind. Changed my mind immediately. Let's just cut one render's choice. We'll be able to survive without a two and two. It seems like a reasonable split. And then I want the feeding time in the market. That's what it was. The final thing. Okay, we're gonna try this. I I would not be surprised if this is just fucking awful, but we're gonna do it because I like this deck. And, uh, you know, it's, it's not all about you, Chad. It's about me sometimes. But, yeah, no, Xena Reanimator could definitely happen later on. That's, a, that's another deck that I'm enjoying. I think I have some ideas of where I want things to go from here. But I'm not uh, sh totally sure. This seems okay. Assume Buffoon. Mortal Enemy. Let's see if I can see if I can uh ghost him. No, no, no luck. No luck. Let's start here just to keep him off our scent. Flash started watching. I'm gonna tell him I'm gonna tell him that we're streaming. God, I hate this chat system so badly. I just put on the podcast. Very nice. Uh, I guess you can't hear me. Well, I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> There's a confusing of what's happening in chat versus uh, on on the, the in-game discussion. Let me win. I'm uh, leaving you on a star review. I, I think that I can survive the one-star wrath of uh, one friend uh, here. Let's do this. Yeah. It is really hard to chat with you while streaming. And I'm sure you are sniping me. Dirtbag. Yeah, let's just... Oh, I should have just played this. I should have just played that out. I this is see this is the distraction. This is a distraction technique. 
Check it out then. Yeah, hopefully he's up. <laughs> yeah, and it worked too. That's the worst part. Oh god, I screwed this up so badly. That's that small choice. Small difference. Made such a difference. Ebon Dune Smuggler. Probably going to get banished here, so I guess it doesn't matter that much. Basically just lost one charge on this, but it doesn't matter if it just dies. But her Gore. Okay, that didn't does matter. Um So this has gotta be a like a Martyr's Chains or a Pit deck. So I'm just gonna hold this and then try and set up a a boar uh, in the nearish future. Uh, this could also be good depending on what exactly is going on in the deck. In cold blood. Um, this could be a Vara deck. This obviously doesn't do anything to Vara other than I. I like it. it's a death strike. I think that that's fine. I could be seeing something like a Talut come down this turn as well. It's really hard to figure out what exactly is going on here. Um, at least I know that they're not going to use Zindel's Gift Me. Um, because they're probably going to get that from the market if they're going to get it from anywhere. And the Ebon Dune Smuggler. I guess that I wouldn't care that much about Gift because I can just, once again, bore it. Oh, sure. If you're just going to play fair stuff, then I'm totally happy with this decision. We're, we're getting there. One card at a time. Sure. I don't really care about that. I'm just going to do this in case he Vara's me. Vara is going to be really gross if that's what happens from here. Minotaur Ambassador. I'm fine with that. Sandstorm Titan, I'm fine with that too. Let's go here. Hmm. Both of these are really good. Actually, yeah, this is correct because we get to do this, and then I forgot that this buffs this like the, the copy um, here now can block the Titan profitably, not profitably, but like it can block it. I'm really trying to get that Mars Chains out of the deck, which out of the hand, which I, I feel like it's there. Weird play. Let's do this. Devour. Okay. What would that be? And that it echoes? It has to be... I'm trying to think if it was anything else other than the stupid... Um, this is a really bad play. I don't know why you're doing this. It plays right into that. I'm just going to assume that that was just... Totally missed what was happening there. Did not Did not see it on his part. I think I want the 
Ooh. Another cradle seems really good. It just speeds things up a lot. I think I'm doing fine. I could have attacked and then pinged him off, but it's it's okay. I will find a removal spell for him eventually. Yvonne Dune Smuggler. Because this is kind of what I was worried about, something along these lines, where you can Vara back. Okay, Talir. Do I lose? Okay, well, I can kill her at the very least. Because we get to do... This. Um... Yeah, I have to kill her. I have to kill her. So, take this. I'm going to... Take the feeding time... I was thinking about doing it with that, the Howling Beak, but we don't need to. We can just do it here. Because also this means that things like, um, obviously, the Dark Return doesn't kill me as much anymore. Doesn't doesn't do anything spooky. And also, like this is the only one they have access to because it's come the, the the Black Market, right? So any spookiness that could come as a result of that, it, it should be answered from here. So Twin Brute Sauropod is what they're playing, not... <sighs> okay. I mean, sure, these are all things that are allowed to happen. I'm just going to shoot this, this guy down. We're going we're gonna to end this game now. I'm over it. I was curious for a while. I thought there were some different possibilities that I wanted to play around, but it, and now I just think that I, I'm here to end the game. We did it. Very scared for a second there. There were a lot of possibilities that felt like they were a lot scarier than what they that actually could have happened. That actually ended up happening, but you know, like because it just didn't know exactly what was going on when any time you face something like a Corundin deck, it's weird. Just a little bit of shit talk, you know? Bad game, unfollowed, one star, iTunes review, income. Okay, so joke's on you then. The the, the, the thing about being you know, the number one of the Eternal podcast is that your ratings just don't even matter. Like, it's not like people find me on iTunes, you know, or if they're looking for it, they're going to find me anyway. It's also just an Eternal cast. It's happening. So, good good game, though. I, like, are you playing Vara in your deck? I'm surprised that you didn't get Vara in that position. I guess you wouldn't have it in the the, the black market then, because I was just really confused all game long. Uh, it does have Strategize, which is a card that I like, but I'm going to send it back. I could have... That was a keepable hand, all things considered, but I think that as a first hand, it's fine to send that one back. Uh, this is definitely a keep. Do you like having more power, and this does allow me to keep up the Calderon, like not have to play this out before the Calderon Cradle to seek power. Playing Sauropod, but when I do, I'm telling you, I see it. 
He was playing... When was he playing that? It's an eight merchant Grimva to Lear combo. Okay. No, I mean, I think that it's looked really bad to, from what I saw. There was... I don't, I don't know, man. Um, almost, like, almost as really good as a... Um, like he is is very bold in his deck building choices is a good way to put it. He he's uh, very avant garde with it. I don't know. It's on Warcry. Okay. We're just gonna go here, um, assuming that they don't have the boar because people are just not responsible adults and they don't like playing good cards like boar. <laughs> and just planning to fucking petition. That's way better than amber acolyte. See how much better that is than Amber Acolyte? Are you, are you missing that 2-1 action here? No, you're not. You're going to scout. That's amazing. Costs 2. Just just spectacular. So, we need more fire for show. Other than that, we're, we're pretty much in business. Nothing really that scary can come out here. Okay, Sandstorm Titan, that's fine. Let's do... Let's do Second Sight. Sure. This doesn't really accomplish very much. Just spins wheels. So that, I have... This is definitely uh Kent Sacrificion Tavara. Yeah. That that is true. I guess that that is something that you care about in, in that deck, actually, now that I think about it. Now I do have the option to uh torch and then uh, ambush this functionally. I would be blocking with both of the the dragons so in case they have one removal spell. Also, it should be noted that they cannot. Um, oh, Howling Peak Smuggler. Okay, mo hopefully they do not have the boar. That is the boar. That's fine. They they have another fast. They have a fast spell that's relevant, so it's probably it equivocates. I'm not going to block here. So they do, yeah. F indeed. Uh, I think I can still win here. It's go gotten a hell of a lot worse, but I guess that actually now that they have the only the one power, then I can double block. I think that they have Equivocate, specifically. Okay, so we're going to do this. I don't think that it's going to be very easy for them to battle through all of this. Here, oh, they do have a Torch, it seems. Just double check that pause. Three, two, one... Okay, so they definitely do have a torch. They definitely do have a torch. I mean, I can also, like, triple block him, right? So that makes it really, really hard. And also, I'm fine against Zalchi as well. Sans are Titan, fine. Caleb, it's favor. I think I'm going to take an interesting line here. Show, yeah, I like that card. Uh, we're going to do this because um, they still have that. Um, 
send this back. I think, yeah, so I can't do this for two next turn. Channel of Tempest is a really good card. It's still a little ways off, but um, I'm going to basically guarantee, yeah, so, hmm. This is difficult. I also don't know what I'm drawing. I just I'm gonna go fat. We're gonna do this. That would that this is that was a really hard decision point. I'm gonna just say this is for the purpose of this is to just play around the the torch that they have in hand. Um, okay, sure. That yeah okay. Um. Sure, we're going to do this. I think that they're going to kill the the dragon still. Yeah, they're going to kill the dragon. Let's see what they do here. Um, yeah, that resolves. So I'm going to torch this guy for the purposes that I can now gun down him. And that she'll survive. Or, I mean, like, the, getting that spell damage is really important here. And I'm going to play out Cho. Once again, still playing around Zalchi, which is cool. If they happen to have it. I mean, suggest that they do have it because they haven't been playing very much. They're probably just going to Heart of the Vault to ping this this turn. Oh, they don't have it. Okay, cool. Equivocate. Yep. Sure. Mm. This seems like a good card here. It seems honestly pretty decent. So... I'm going to you know, this doesn't play around Zalchi as well as some other possibilities, but I think that it's just going to be really annoying for them to fight through. Do it. Yeah, no, we're doing it. I have never played this card before. It's always one that I mean I've seen it around every now and then. I always have to double triple check the text on the card. Zalchi. Really want a. Mm. None of these cards are doing what I want them to. Blast it. I mean, this is going to be sent back. Yep, that obviously stays on top. So I'm going to do this. This is a little bit annoying because I can't attack here, but I mean, they, they have to spend up a lot of power in order to uh, like kill her, for example. Um, and I think that I'm winning the card advantage battle by a good deal. This channel attempt is going to kill anything that they play as well. What a weird design. 
I mean, I guess it's fine. I mean, it seems really good in draft. Like, how do you beat this hard in draft? Jesus Christ. Okay, so now, like, I can block this here because I probably can't both uh, kill this and hit this once. Um, yeah, sure. I mean, I guess they could also do it with a torch, but you really haven't accomplished a ton there. Okay, so they're just not doing it. We are going to kill show. Because that feels good. I have a bajillion cards. They are going to be able to draw a card next turn um, with with the uh, our Duder, the, the the Moonstone Guardian. I don't think that I need another Hurler. I guess I can set up a double Snowball with two Howling Peaks. Sure, let's just do this. I mean, I don't really know how I lose from this position. I'm just so far ahead. Uh, discard a card. I think that I discard... I'm thinking show. No, it's just got to be one of these treasure troves. I just don't have the power. Power is the problem. I need to stop wiggling the desk. It makes me look very weird. Carry me, fear made flesh. But yeah, double um, snowball with the Howling Peak Smugglers is actually going to kill most of the stuff in their deck. They clearly had that in their hand already. Let's see what happens here. They do not seem to have any... Okay, so they are... Um, I can also do this. Ooh. Okay, boys. And girls. Sure. Yeah. That felt real good. Okay. Um... I mean, I'm just kind of like doing stuff at random at this point because I'm just so absurdly ahead that it just clearly doesn't matter at all. Remember, this was a game that I got bored by both of my uh, cradles and I just destroyed them. <laughs> zero, zero. That's what I want to see, my friend. That's what I want to see. Love it. Fear made flesh carrying me. Okay, so the, the, I don't really think that that could have... Uh, done very much anyway but even if even if it did have stats but you know whatever we're, we're doing it for the memes after he has cradle let's see if we can get this one you know we we're almost top 200 that's a start that's a start do you have ways on i try to install it i don't know why it's not up now i i mean i like you should be still be getting drops at the very least Have you guys been getting drops? You know if you've been getting drops over the course of these streams. Let's just keep this. This is, like, okay. It's not great as a hand. I definitely need to find more primal with this. Definitely need to get more primal with this. Sure. I'm probably going to send this guy away. Win chest cargo. Let's win chest, sabotage. You think you have? Yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, I'll double check after this game. Um, once again, just trying it, because I, like, I thought that it would have been operated in, uh, previously, but I've been finding with a lot of these streaming-related stuff that like it'll work one time, and then it won't work the next time, and I don't know why. So, okay, that's a th fine. That's really good. That's really good. 
Um, very, very happy with these. Now, this is like an incredible card in this matchup, though. I think that I just sent, you know, Annihilate hits Vara, which I'm kind of scared about. Um, as weird as it is, I think I sent back the Howling Peak Smuggler. I mean, she's obviously a rock star. Uh, should also note that they have a Sabotage just in their main deck, which is an unusual choice for this deck. But, I mean, it's not like crazy as something to include, but... Um, don't think that Hurler is what this matchup is about. Like, I mean, it's not a... So like, oh my god, I can't believe that they're playing a Sabotage. It's more like, interesting. Interesting choice. They have a torch. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I they could have a uh, a region's tomb here, yeah. So they can hit either one of these with the sabotage. Not that big of a deal. Um, I get a chance to play out the feast caller. They do have the torch to ping it, and then if they just need like a sabotage, or they they need a slay, or a um or something of the sort. Like there's a lot of things that kill him here, obviously. But I think this is this is very clearly the the correct play from this position. Yeah, it was, it was, I think, kind of a bit of a 50-50 about whether or not they got the Regent's Tomb or they got the Deep Forge Plate. Um, maybe a little bit leaning in the, the position of, of it being the, the Regent's Tomb. Yeah, I mean, I have to do this. Sabotage. Yeah, man. Do I have anything that does anything here? No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This does it to each enemy, so I can actually... Just okay. We're gonna do. We're gonna do this in cold blood. Seems decent in this deck. Okay. So uh, ordering here is definitely wrong. Um, this seems fine. I'm probably not going to be playing it for a couple of turns, but it's still okay. That was a decent turn. I was happy. Like, I'm satisfied with this. Okay. Sure. We're just going to play this out. Caleb's favor. Yep. I'm going to keep the gun down because it represents the... Well, I actually kind of want them to play out the, their merchant because I can kill it with the cold blood. Like, my plan here is to bring here, send this back, get the feeding time. Because one way or another, one of these is getting wasted.
This is probably a kind of a greedy-ish play. I probably should have just um, used the mirror image so that the uh, red Canyon smuggler that comes down next turn uh, would have to eat the uh, that. I mean, I guess at this point, this really you know forces them to do something like uh, either slay this right now or. Um, they have to hold up torch for their own turn. So it does force an awkwardness in their, their play, which is always nice. Seeking all sorts of power. I think that that was the... It's either an avagraft or it was the plate. Yeah, this is fine. Continue in cold blood. Get those off of the battlefield just permanently. Sounds good. Blocks from future plays. Didn't get anything from the hand, unfortunately, but, you know, can't get everything. Very likely to send this away with Caleb. Hmm, another, another one. I, I'm probably going to just shoot him right now. I have no idea what they have in their hand at this point. They've just exchanged with their market, their market so many times. Let's do this. Quarry. I expect something like a Vanquish here. Either a Vanquish, Abigraft. Uh, they probably sent back the Deep Forge plate to the market with their other their secondary merchant. Yeah, sure. Very happy I got rid of the... Um, I'm going to just... Oh, that was a good decision. They could have a lot of stuff here still. Yeah, Rizan, sure. I'm going to start and actually making things happen. Send this back to the deck so that it's more available for a potential um, what do you call it? I What do you call it? I don't remember the name of it. Uh, <laughs> uh, a uh, Caleb of Joy's in the, the future. Um, Caleb's favor, rather. I really want Channel the Tempest. I really want Channel the Tempest. But I just don't have the fifth, the, the ninth power. That nine power thing, wow, was that a nerf. Yeah, we're just going to do this. I I really want access to that card draw. I can take a couple of hits from, from Rizon. I've done a reasonable job of just stalling the game out. Their hand is clearly weird at this point. It could have a lot of stuff to it. I hope that they don't have this Deep Forge plate still. They don't seem to. Oh, that's great. I'm very happy for them to attack this. That's... Exactly what I wanted. If I had made it, if I, I had the choice, I would have asked them to do that. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to play that out. We're going to do this. Um, definitely need some card draw at this point. Definitely, or just like a power. A power would be very sweet. Torch, that makes things much, much worse. I should have just gone for 
the uh, burn them all. Um, okay, well, making some progress. Let's see what's going on here. What do we have left? Okay, okay. Um, we're going to send the hurler back and then we're going to snowball. Now, it's obviously very unlikely for this, my opponent to have a removal spell here. So, you know, there's that. Oh God, they had a removal spell. Who could have seen it? Who could have expected that they had a removal spell? Now, basically, I have to, I have to top deck a, um, a permafrost. So, in which case, I would rather, um, okay, one second, one, two, three, yeah. So, I have, I would rather permafrost this because I don't want this to be in the void so they can recur it. So, I, yeah, but yeah, I have to top deck. Oh wait, no, I have this, of course. Yes, yes, yes. Um, now, they still obviously have the out of a removal spell, once again, but uh, at least I'm not dead. Oh my god, we're alive! We did it, we're geniuses. Okay. Okay. Um... These are pretty close to one another, I think that Strategize is better. Let's just keep on going. Oh, there's a boy. Quarry. How much do we have here? Three, four. Yes. Yeah, okay. Perfect. I, I just have to kill them, right? I really have to kill them. So we're going to second sight. <laughs> Put this back on top. Draw him again. Annihilation. Uh, order. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Well, we're doing it. Yeah, let's keep that. Holy cow. What a series of turns. No torch. No, not on a torch. Not a torch. Bottom. No sigils found in the deck. I'm fine with that. What are they at right now? That's fine. What are they at right now? Yeah, with this, this, and this.
they just have to have harsh rule here or kill me. Yes! That was a great game. <laughs> that was a great game. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was that was amazing. Yeah, yeah. Poggers indeed. Holy shit! I really are now on. Oh god! I did. Did I update this that I'm I'm playing the cradle? FPS cradle nonsense. Cool, cool. Almost top 200 with, with this pile. In cradle plus size seems amazing. Oh yeah, it totally is. It totally is. I mean, I think that people like saw them initially. I just think that people thought that this a deck like this would be stone dead to bore. Um, I, I clearly have shown that I, I, I've beaten bore already tonight. This deck is much better than I thought it was. <coughs> this hand is sketchy. We're doing it. Life Bloom is a worthy opponent who happens to die to Hailstorm sometimes. They, the, the style of deck that they play is sometimes is weak to Hailstorm. I have to bottom this because I need a fire source. Guess that they're not on... I mean, they could be still on something like the Arch Import, like aggro decks, I suppose. Uh, that is a fire source, so we're going to keep it. Yeah, they're not. Didn't even notice the echo earlier. Or didn't, like, register it. Is a better way to put it. Yeah, I'm going to just do this. It doesn't really feel great because the... Um, oh, hey, that's fine. I actually like this. I'm going to get um, the fire sigil, obviously, so that this comes in undepleted. <coughs> I'm probably going to exchange this card. Oh. Uh, this is fine to me. So this is kind of cute. All this dies to Hailstorm. I, I was almost considering just like holding it off so that I could do something like combo with the torch to kill something else, but I mean, it's just dangerous leaving that kind of material out on the board. I'm going to hold this for a bit. I don't really know what I want. Good card. Display of Ambition. Yep. <coughs> Bonding out something else? We're running it back. You're ramping. Oh man, this is this is quite the thing. I'm I'm enjoying this as an experience. Let's test for a torch. It could be a palm spell though as well, I guess. I don't think I need three cradles, so we're going to do this. Torrential downpour.
That was a risky move for me, all things considered. Well, I got that back. Let's just do this. This is greedy. We're doing it though. Yep. Sending this for Let's go feeding time. Obviously cleans up most problems that we're likely to experience. Bounce. Show. Oh, right. This all had the show in hand. What am I doing? Obviously. Going to shoot it. Doing this again. Okay. How many more justice sources do they have in their deck? They've got to be closed out. Or just sigils, rather. One, two, three. Yeah, that's like the tenth one or something. Oh, well, let's... Yeah, just play him out. I will block with him if I'm forced to. They've got to have a power in hand, too. Yeah. Bottom? That's cool. God, maybe I don't block with the Feast Caller. I just need card draw. I'm in a really bad spot. Or anything else. Sure, you got it, man. Okay, I do get some card draw to start off with. I should probably should have played this out. That's that's game. I think. Technically not. <clears throat> they could not have a power. Oh, hey, I'm alive. That's cool. Interesting. Interesting. A uh, really good chance I'm dead here still, but, you know, we're not yet. Which is better than I've... Like, it, it could be worse. It could be worse. And he's not killing me immediately. Uh, that probably kills me. Assuming that they have any removal spell or any way to get evasion, basically. Smuggler stash. Yeah, that, that'll do it. Because they get to... Get the rune hammer, 
Rune Hammer kills one of my duders. Yeah. Ugh. Close. Close. We almost did it. Yeah, I don't know about this one, guys. This one's really close. These hands are hard. I'm gonna keep it. It's greedy. We're doing it anyway. Near match would be sweet. Yeah, I need more power. Core into Justice uh, Primal Source, hopefully next turn. What are they on? Canadians? Canadians seems like an amazing matchup against Genev. Genev, uh, we've beaten already. Actually, I just search for the Primal this way. Definitely not Hailstorm. Aurelian Merchant. Or at least I like this approach to the deck building Aurelian Merchant versus um, maybe Amber Acolyte or something like that. Let's go here. Yeah, this is pretty easy. Crest. Um... This is a weird one, but I'm keeping it, I think. I just need to get up to the three uh, primal for my Feasty Boy. Do this. Please be charge rod. Yeah, that would have been fun. Oh, hey. I like this. A good deal. That controls things. Now, they could Zalshi me right here, which is uh, anno would be annoying. You want my deck list? I can s do that soon. <clears throat> yeah, there's a Zalshi. I can't stop it. But at the same time, the Zelchi can't will be able to block the Jotun Beast Color because they're gonna have to attack. Also, drops confirmed on. Very nice. Display of instinct. It's probably gonna hit him. I mean, it seems the most logical. Oh, I mean, I guess that's fine. What could they get? Initiation, Xenon Initiation. That's kind of spooky. Okay, so what we're going to do... This feels a little bit too small ball for me. Right here. I also just like the idea of... Okay, so I'm gonna try... Try to, yeah, okay, so one of the things they could be trying to get is the um, reanimation spell, the Stir the Sands card, uh, given the, the composition of their, like, they, they're playing some big Sentinels. Okay, this is fine. 
mirror image. Oh no, that's not that fine. <laughs> Uh, that's two of these guys, which is going to be a bit of a bitch to deal with. Okay. Master Cartographer down. Um... Yeah, I mean, I have to kill one of these. I can't have two of them active. That's just too much. I can attack in order to trade all of these, but that's going to be... Like, I could also... I could attack both of these, attack into here, try to bait them into block, block, as opposed to block, block. Um, I don't think that he's going to fall for it, and I just really need him to survive because um, I just feel like I need that kind of juice to go head-to-head -head with a deck like this. Now, I mean, I'm still in a really big wad of trouble. At least they didn't kill anything. Okay, so Aurelian Merchant. There's obviously a lot that can go wrong here with the Aurelian Merchant still. Uh, if they have the start of the stands, that doesn't do anything in this position. I don't think... Uh, I don't think there's a, primal, a, a time card that they can just have gotten that would kill me here. What did I do? Okay, so they did stir the sands. Sandstorm Titan. Moon Guard, certain, uh, Vanguard. Okay, so that is still pretty bad. And they both have Endurance, so I'm super dead. Yeah. We're done here. Concede the game. Okay. Um... I am going to play a little bit of the Xena Reanimator since somebody requested it, but um, I can put this up on uh, the, whatchamacallit, in the, the, the meantime edit deck.